Michelle Smith. I'm an implementation consultant and instructor with Critical Business Analysis. We're an Oracle Primavera specialized software reseller and certified training provider. In addition to the implementation services that we offer for Primavera products, we also offer client site training and in-house training here at our Perrysburg, Ohio facility. Today, I'm going to give you a taste of that training. I'm going to share with you Course 101, Primavera P6 Fundamentals Release 8. And the portion of that course I'm going to share with you is Lesson 5 on creating a work breakdown structure. So the work breakdown structure, or WBS, is a way to categorize the work that's going to take place on the project. The work breakdown structure allows you to create sort of an outline of the way that the work is going to be performed. The work breakdown structure is hierarchical in nature. It has parent and child type relationships between the multiple levels. And the idea is that you'll be able to get roll-up analysis and reporting across those different levels of the WBS structure and ultimately for the entire project. Now if you look at our screen here, the core level of the work breakdown structure, or it's called the root level, is the same name as the name of the project. And that's indicated here by this projects folder. That level is considered the root level or the parent level of the work breakdown structure. It's going to ultimately allow for all of the activity information, including dates, durations, costs, resource hours, to be rolled up at the entire project level. Now the sub-levels of the WBS structure, well those are called WBS elements or children levels of the WBS. Each child level of the WBS will have the own, their own activities that fall within that segment of work. You'd be able to roll up that information for that series or set of activities at any of these WBS levels and the root level or parent level itself. Now, in our example that we're going to perform in the program, we're going to create a work breakdown structure for a new system project. Now, ultimately, that project's going to be divided into three main areas. The three main areas that we're going to divide our project into, or WBS levels, are going to be system development, system testing, and system deployment. But notice each of these levels are going to be broken out even further. For example, our system development section is going to have a lower level, or a child level, for system requirements, system design, and system implementation. So let's see how we create this in the program. So now in the program, we're actually in the open project. We're in the activities view in a layout that is grouped by the work breakdown structure. Notice the very top line that you see here for new system, creating a WBS, that's actually the name of our project and that's automatically generated when the new project has been created. So that's our root level, our parent level, WBS element. Now when you begin building the WBS structure, you're typically going to do this before you start adding activities to a project. The idea is that after you add the work breakdown structure, or that outline of work that's going to be performed, that you can then add the activities to the appropriate sections of the project utilizing that work breakdown structure you've created. So we're going to add first the three main levels of our WBS structure. The three main levels were system development, system testing, and system deployment. To add a level to the WBS structure, you're going to highlight the section or the element that you want to create those levels underneath. You'll right mouse click and then select Add Child WBS. This is going to place that WBS element below the highlighted element. And then we'll go ahead and key in our first WBS name. This is System Development. Notice to the left of system development, there's a green asterisk. This means that we need to save the item that we've just added to make it a permanent portion of our work breakdown structure. So we'll go ahead and hit the blue disk here to save that level. Now the next level that we want to create is actually a sibling level to system development. It should be at the same level as system development. So when we create it, we're going to right mouse click on it, and this time, instead of selecting Add Child WBS, We'll go ahead and select Add Sibling WBS. And this is for system testing. And we'll save that one. And now let's add our third one here. Right mouse click and select Add Sibling WBS. And this is going to be for system deployment. So there are the three primary levels of our work breakdown structure. 
Now, if you'll remember, we've got a couple of levels that we want to add underneath system development, some children level WBS elements. To do that, we're going to highlight on system development, we'll right mouse click on it, and then we'll add child WBS to this element. So the first child level WBS we're going to add is called system requirements. And then let's add two more. These will be siblings to system requirements. We're going to want system design. And then we're also going to want system implementation. So now it's time to add activities to the WBS structure once it's complete. In our case, let's say we want to add an activity to the system and system development underneath system requirements. To do that, we'd go ahead and highlight system requirements, we'd right mouse click, and then we'd select add activity. So let's add a new activity here, and the name of this activity that we're going to add is going to be called Define Operational Requirements. And you know what, we'll go ahead and add some printing costs to this activity on the Expenses tab down below of $150. We'll go ahead and save that activity. And now the activity has a meaningful place within our schedule in the System Requirements WBS section. And notice also how the System Requirements WBS section has a roll-up of the value based on the values below it, the activities below that item. There's the $150 for total cost, and it's continuing to roll up all the way to the root level of the work breakdown structure. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that small portion of instructor-led training and learned a little along the way. We'd love to have you come back for the full course. Give us a call today at Critical Business Analysis for all your Oracle Primavera training and project management needs.